Hello everyone, it's Isabella Brave. First off, I wanted to say I'm amazed at how much love and affection and care there was for my last video. I'm very impressed and proud and pleased and grateful and humbled and I couldn't thank you enough. It was so sweet, I can't describe it, so thank goodness you were there to see it. <laughs> In any event, I'm sorry I couldn't make a video sooner as I've been sick as usual, but I'm having a moment today. Oh, well, despite my owie, I got in a knife fight with myself. My knife was too sharp. Never mind. For those of you who go to my IsabellaBrave.com Flux website, you'll know that there's some news going on with a certain cat in my world, and I have an update, uh, ending of the book, in fact, that is so incredible and magic and overwhelming, it's too much for text. So here we are. And a little background for those of you who don't go to that website and don't know what's been going on. There's a cat that's a stray that's been coming around my house for the last couple of years. And there's lots of strays here, but she's the only one that comes by. And um, after I gave her some advantage, I felt it was safe enough to try to pet her. And for those of you who know what advantage is, you'll know why I felt comfortable enough to pet her with cats of my own. Fleas are bad news. And I noticed upon petting her for the very first time, that beneath her fur, almost beneath my hand, was ripples and ripples of wounds. Amazing. Wounds upon wounds and scars upon scars. Old, of course, but she had been through it a lot. Anyway, I named her Has Wounds, but still lives. That was her medicine name for me, because as she's not mine, I can't quite name her. But it sure suited her, and she'd earned that medicine name. Well. A few days ago she came by and dry food that I put out there was falling from her mouth. And upon closer inspection it was because this side of her face was practically gone. I looked very closely and carefully keeping in mind, you know, injured animals can lash out naturally for protection, they're quite scared. and. Uh, it looked to me as though maybe she could survive it, but it was grisly. It really was. It, it brought you to tears and made you nervous and afraid and all kinds of things. I called animal control and described the problem to them and unfortunately they insisted upon a death sentence. The last thing I wanted to do was that. And certainly, wouldn't it be terribly ironic to have named her Has Wounds But Still Lives to this end? So, I asked my father what I ought to do. He spent a lot more time on a farm than I did and knows animals through and through. And he says, there she is, coming to you, happy, wanting to eat. Perhaps death is not for her just yet. My father, of all people, wouldn't mince words about that subject. So, I had a renewed hope, thanks to him. And as for my Heavenly Father, oh boy, have I prayed and prayed. I wrote about all of this on my website, isabellbrave.com, to let my friends know what was going on, because we needed all the prayers we could get for her. Has wounds. Had some wounds. <laughs> She had a serious one under her chin. She had this here, although it was not connected to the mouth, thanks God. And as far as I could tell, her mouth, though swollen, was completely intact and uninjured. But she was suffering. And she's quite thin as well. So, the dry food notwithstanding, wet food was a little bit of a trouble. I remembered the milk with which I rescued Munha. My little Moon. You remember her, look up the name. It's the only cat in the world named <laughs> that. And I got her some of this milk. I raced out and couldn't wait till I saw her again. And the milk, she doesn't have to chew. And it's very, very powerful. You know, a tablespoon is three meals. So I was thinking, okay. And she would eat. And I found if I sang to her, she would eat even more. And she even purred. I never know, knew her to purr since I met her. There she was, me singing, and barely able to walk, 
and her trying to eat and unable to express how much pain she was in. I sang gospel songs that don't exist. I prayed to God, just tell me what to sing and I'll sing it. With a tear in my eye, trying not to let her know that there was anything to worry about. I know it's a cat, but what can you do? In any event, I wanted to thank, at this point, everyone who's prayed. People who were good enough to send money my way so I could feed her because that was much needed. And I think you'll be very pleased to know what the outcome is of this. The other day, there was a man outside, beckoning to what I thought was has wounds. And sure enough, it was. I talked to the man for a moment, and he said, please, I'll be right back. He came back with an older man who looked wet from a distance, and it was tears. He was crying and sobbing, and he's has wounds owner, if you can believe that. She's 16 years old. She's been through everything you can imagine. But this one took the cake. She was attacked by a mole, which was one of our guesses. It was definitely not a person or another cat or dog. And he saw it happen, but he didn't know what to do. He didn't consider that there was such a thing as this special healing milk to eat and all of this kind of thing. And I told him about what I'd done, the singing and the praying, and he fell on his knees crying. He had said that he'd been praying for her all of this time too. He'd been crying, he'd been singing, and he thought he was alone in all this. But nights when I wondered where she were, where she were, where she was, corresponded with days where he wondered where she'd gone. I'd never dared to dream that she had a roof over her head at any time, and she did. And this man cared for her for 16 years. As I was talking to him, I mentioned has wounds but still lives, and on and on, and he said, what's that? And I said how I'd named her. He said in 16 years he'd never come up with a name for her, because nothing seemed to suit her. And he was amazed to reveal that that was very much her, and he's going to call her that from now on. He begged to repay me somehow with... He started describing all kinds of gifts and monies and things, and I said, listen, the best thing you could do is what you've already done. Love her, take care of her, be her owner. And we discussed, of course, for all of those of you who are thinking vet, vet, veterinarian, we talked about that, and it seemed obvious that that would, one, be a lot of trauma for her, and two, a lot of cost for him or me, and three, perhaps a sentence of death outright because it looked so bad, and not to put out veterinarians, but that can happen, you know, and her age and so on. But it was amazing to see this man crying and grateful to God for this and to love this animal as if it was his child. Well, events took a turn for the bittersweet when he let me know last night that he's moving, out of town even, and he's taking has wounds with him. And yes, he called her that. And he wanted to thank me again. And my only reply is, what else could I have done but more? So, I should not ever see her again, I think. But had I not gotten the grace to happen to come across this man, thanks to God, at my door, I would have assumed that she had died. So I'm very grateful that I got to see him and we got to pray together and embrace each other and know what really was going on. All this time we were afraid. Well, she was right next door for either one of us. And uh, it was very funny, too, that the man's name is Francisco, because it's very much a St. Francis story with an animal, you know? So I wanted to say, she's safe and sound, and for those of you still concerned, I saw her this morning for the last time. 
and her whole face here, which was ravaged and gone, seemingly, was not only healed, there was fur growing back on it. So, that is the end of the story of Has Wounds But Still Lives, and she's an earthly kitty heaven, which is having an owner that loves you to pieces and takes care of you. So, with that in mind, I wanted to thank everyone again, and so many wonderful things are happening all around me, and they don't need to happen to me. But to be given the grace to be a part of it or to see it, especially to help, is the best thing I could ever have. So thank you for listening, and thanks to those of you who helped. And that's it, and I'll see you next time.